say that it's not the strongest or the fastest that survives, but the one that is most adaptable to change. Before AISJ, I used to attend a school named Jinfushia, where technology was scarce. Computers, printers, and telephones could only be found in the office, and none of the students had access to them at all. But it wasn't as if we wanted to use them. We felt no need for them. When projects needed to be done, the poster was the only thing on our minds. I imagined my pretty, glittery pens and pencils waiting for me to use. Life changed when I came to AISJ, where technology outnumbered the people in it. I became obsessed with mastering any application, any program I could get my hands on. I wanted to catch up with my fellow peers who have had technology for most of their lives. I come from a school where mix it was the biggest thing to happen to us. It was a social media, it was a way to connect with my friends, and it was the best thing I had. But then I came to AISJ, there was Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, Flickr, Instagram. I became overloaded with so many medias, and I just felt frustrated. This, this life of AISJ had caused lots of frustration and endless hours of continuous learning and adapting. One young mind can only take so much. When you come to AISJ, everything changes, not just only on the technological standpoint. How I spoke, how I dressed, what I spoke, how I spoke, changed completely. I learned to not get attached to my fellow friends. In my old school, I grew up with every single person there. I saw them from f the first day in grade one to the last day in grade seven. But when you come to AISJ, it's a miracle if someone stays with you that long. I remember when my English teacher told me to create a project about a book we've recently read. It was around the time I found the enigma of Premiere Pro. Uh, I spent time learning how to transition, how to add visual effects, how to export like a professional that. By the time I finally had it down, my project was due for the next morning. I had to revert to the movie maker life and produce a project I did not even like. Looking back, I used to find any and every excuse to make a video. I wanted to use the knowledge I worked so desperately hard for. But then I realized there were times where I should have used an easier program or a different program, and maybe even my glittery, pretty pens and pencils. At some point, I realized I was adapting to the technology rather than adapting the technology from my learning. I was letting the technology master me rather than I being the master. I noticed that we live our lives around what technology enables us to do. Remember, it exists to help us move forward, not limit what we as human beings can do. Adapting to a technological environment was never the problem. It was my limited ability to learn how to adapt, which was the problem. It was never the program being difficult. It was me. Thank you.